Who's this guy? Huh? This, look at this guy right here. Look, this, this picture's from 1884. I swear, that's the same guy. 1928, right after the train crash. That's our guy. What guy? That guy. Brandy had a lot of research on her phone, all related to the Keatings. Yeah, but that guy appeared in the research, too, in every story about every disaster. It's not a key. No, a Cecilman, but a different first name every time. Uh, Cole, Durham, Rory, all with the Cecilman surname. Yeah, and the dates of the disaster match up to the dates that Cecilman appears in the photos. Every 44 years. An impossibly successful family, a mysterious immortal associate, periodic tragedy, classic Faust tale. Devil and Daniel Webster. Why, is that some bloke running for mayor? No, a story. It means the Keating family assigned to deal with the devil, and the next contract comes due now. Mr. Cecilman is a sole contractor or executor, as they prefer. Oh, like I care what they prefer. Colonel, very dangerous creature, hard to stop, nearly impossible to kill. So he's old and he's powerful, the usual drill. What's his weapon? The contract. Bad fortunes, death, all side effects of the bargain. To protect the agreement, anyone threaten the good fortune of the signer. The contract will arrange circumstances for that person's destruction. So how does he kill him? The executor actually gets all of his power from the contract. Power, focus, effect. The power being the soul bound to the focus of the contract. The effect of the death and chaos in the contract's wake as it fulfills its signatory's deepest desires. Are we talking soul? Soul here? Well, if you're asking me what happens after you die, I remind you I'm one of the least qualified people to answer that. But for now, let's think of soul as life energy. We've encountered creatures who feed off that kind of energy before. It's a parasite. It feeds off the misery caused by the contract and then consumes the signatory once the contract comes due. Then that's how we get them. It's a deal with the devil. If we can't beat the devil, we beat the deal. How do we find it? Something that valuable. The family would keep it very close. Here. Keep knows half the town. I don't know how you're gonna narrow it down. Stealing is my job, mate. Just lean back and listen to Dr. Jones. Uh -huh. So the contract is 200 years old. Means they don't want to move it around at all. So it can't be in any of the newer buildings. That cuts these out, doesn't it? Exactly. Anyway, according to this, there's three older buildings in town. Gives us about 100 rooms to search. Now, ordinarily, I would hack into the security database, look for some clues, but we have magic. Munchaus is top. Keating family, secret treasure, contract. Not exact, but it does give us the building. If you look at the blueprints, there's space between these walls. Secret passages. Smells like they Wait, might... Wait, you, you can find any valuable object with that thing? Yeah. Anyway, once we're inside, we should look for some kind of magical security system. All this magic around. You could steal anything you want with that. Sure. Easy. Anyway, once we recover the contract, we should have a primary exit plan, a way to walk out with it in hand, and a secondary exit plan, a way to drop it off for a pickup. Now, if you'll notice, there's a metal slot system that runs through this entire building. Why don't you? Why don't you? I'm Ezekiel Jones, the best thief in the air, mate. I do not sound like that. You don't use this stuff to steal? Like I said, it's easy. Ezekiel Jones doesn't do easy. Mm -hmm. He does impossible. Yeah, you're becoming a good guy. You are. Anyway, the mail slot's all empty out here. We'll put Colonel Baird in this corridor as a backup. Jones, Jones, Jones. There was money in here. I don't understand why I have to be the chauffeur. Library's on a budget, can only afford to get two of us in the front door. Mr. Jones will find you access. No, I don't understand why I have to be the chauffeur. These are the true blue bloods, the upper crust, if you will. You know what the upper crust is? A bunch of crumbs held together by dough. Very good, sir. Oh. Now you lifted this from freaking out upstairs. You notice these paintings? I noticed they were. <clears throat> I noticed they were here. Different years and different styles. It's the same technique. Look at the backstroke and the reflection. The feathering and the collar, these are all done by the same hand. The Cecilman bloke? Well, why would he have them all here and let with the three combined together to form a symbol? It's a sigil. Protection for the contract. Three pictures, three paths. Yep. There's three of us. Jones. 